You might have just been introduced to Universal Design for Learning, or maybe you've heard a lot about UDL. Either way, putting it into action might still feel complex. After all, you have classrooms of students who need to be taught. How do you create a learning environment that automatically reaches most of those students? Maybe it's by changing how you think about UDL. First, here's a quick review of CAST and UDL. The Center for Applied Special Technology created the concept. They knew that technology helped students with special needs, but they wanted to expand those learning opportunities to all students. They studied a lot of brain research and came to understand that the way each person learns is as individualized as a fingerprint. They asked, how do we make learning accessible for students right when they enter the classroom? As a single teacher, this might sound overwhelming because you teach so many students, but there are resources. CAST provides teachers with a framework and guidelines from which to work. The guidelines are written to help teachers understand how to apply the overall areas of engagement, representation, and action and expression. As teachers, you know that every type of learner preference is automatically represented in your classroom no matter who walks in. You also know that for all children to learn, you have to create opportunities across the lessons for all of those learners. So how do you decide what resources to use? How do you structure your lessons to meet the needs of the students? How do you not get stressed out? Think about the planning to implementation process differently. For example, when a building is designed, it is made accessible. Ramps are put in. Braille is posted. The fire alarms have flashing lights. And restrooms are made accessible. These are just a few of the accommodations experts take into account when designing a building. They do not wait to see who will be entering the building or using the space. Instead, they design the building so it is automatically accessible to most people. This is how teachers implementing UDL approach lesson planning. Like the experts, the teacher plans for all possible learners and then applies the principles. The lesson is now accessible to most students. The guidelines can help the teacher be confident that he or she is reaching as many students as possible at the onset. CAST's guidelines are organized by the three principles. We'll start with engagement. This principle focuses on gaining your students' interest and attention. So while you might use the interactive whiteboard to engage those who prefer visual and kinesthetic activities, you could also read out loud so students who prefer auditory learning feel more connected to the lesson. While planning how to engage your students, you think creatively about student choice and autonomy, relevance, value and authenticity, and decreasing distractions or threats. Let's think about representation next. Representation takes into account the different resources and actions you use to teach the concept. These resources or actions could include written, verbal, graphic, hands-on, and the list goes on. Then there is action and expression. Action and expression focuses on how you find out what your students know. It is important to know that end of unit tests are not the way to go anymore. It is known that assessing what a student knows along the way helps the teacher know whether the student is learning the information or not and gauge whether the lesson needs to be modified, the teaching style needs to be modified, or the student just needs additional supports. And assessments are not just paper and pen tests. These can be crossword puzzles, games, a written paper, a song created by the student, a diorama, and many more things. 
So those are the three principles, and that's UDL in less than five minutes. Remember, the CAST guidelines are available at their websites. Be sure to check out all of their resources and tools.